Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, folks, this is pretty interesting. Uh, Jalen McCullough, there's been some new evidence appears, and has he been cleared? This is uh, very interesting. Let's get into this article. It says, Tennessee uh, defensive back Jalen McCullough cleared to play after new evidence sheds light on alleged assault. It says, due to the new evidence submitted, McCullough has now been cleared to play by an independent review board at Tennessee. Head coach uh, Josh Heupel and the UT Athletic Department will make the ultimate decision. We'll play again for the volunteers. It's not connected to the student conduct board. It says, after weeks of back and forth with the Knoxville Police Department and the district attorney, uh, Chloe Akers filed two motions that tell the side of McCullough and witnesses regarding the October 9th incident at the apartment complex. McCullough which was charged, of course, with the assault because the plaintiff um, told police that McCullough punched him and pushed him down a flight of stairs after um, he accidentally entered the wrong apartment. That was the original story, if you'll remember, and I did cover this. And also, you know, I took some grief because I took a neutral position on it because one thing that I've learned now that I, especially now that I'm in my 50s, there's always two sides to a story. So it's, it's typically the best thing to do is just wait until you hear both sides and let the thing play out before you start putting a lot of opinion on it. Because like I said, it's just impossible when you're only getting one side. It said McCullough feared for his well-being that the individual broke into the apartment. McCullough and his roommate, Warren Burrell, asked Spencer to leave the apartment numerous times after Spencer backed out just outside the door it's alleged that, that the individual tried to re-enter the apartment, which is when uh, McCullough punched him one time. According to the motion, Spencer told police he'd been drinking that day and was holding a bottle of vodka while giving police a statement. He said that McCullough did not answer any questions, choosing to give a statement to police a few days later, and obviously he wanted to talk to his attorney. In the original report, he said he'd been drinking with friends, went into um, the complex, went back out to his car to get some stuff, and then went in the wrong apartment, and then uh, that's when all this happened. It says, according to the report, the individual had a bruised face, was missing teeth, was bleeding. And here's a story. This is actually on Fox Sports, and it's talking about the same thing. And it said that McCullough and Burrell asked Spencer to leave the apartment numerous times after Spencer backed up just outside the door. It's alleged that Spencer tried to re-enter the apartment, which is when McCullough punched him. So like I say, it's... Uh, it's tough to know what really happened until you get both sides. So it sounds like he has been cleared by an independent review board. I don't know if those charges have been dropped, though. So that could still be hanging up the uh, ability for him to play. It's hard to say. You know, after you get cleared by a review board, uh, you know. So I'd say Heupel's got an important decision to make. He may decide to just take his time on this. It's, uh, it's tricky. And the reality is some of these things take time. But now we've heard both sides. Sounds like the guy went in there and they had him leave and then he tried to re-enter and that's when the altercation occurred. So you've got one side of the story, then you got another and it does sound like there was a witness. So pretty interesting. And that's why I took a neutral position on this because like I said, there's always two sides to this. So it sounds like uh, he'll be getting to play at some point, whether it's this weekend or not, I don't know. So this obviously is a positive turn of events for Jalen McCullough and obviously Tennessee could really use him, but you know, it's one of those where Heupel's got to be careful. You know, he's already had a couple of incidents where he had to put a couple of players off the team, but those were very different issues. This is one where somebody's walked into your home. So as far as Jalen McCullough is concerned, this is pretty positive. You know, now we know from both sides of it, and that sounds a little bit more realistic to me. But, you know, the fact that it's uh, he's been cleared by a review board, an independent one, that obviously bodes well for him. All right, folks, and that's a quick update. This just came out recently, so I did want to cover it a little bit. I'm working on another video for later today, but like I said, this came out, and I was like, well, I need to cover this a little bit since I covered it the first time. And I am glad that I stayed neutral on it because, you know, hey, you never know until you hear both sides. So if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's me know to continue to cover the balls. And if you haven't subscribed to that subscribe button, I'd appreciate it. And I hope you did like the content. We'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.